How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at the XML serializer inside JavaScript. So and this one right here is going to let you um, serialize your HTML or your nodes into an XML string. So um, for an example here, let's, let's serialize or convert this entire document into a valid XML um, string or markup. Right, so um, for example, inside um, your uh, HTML for this document, um, let's go inside the script tag and make a new instance of the XML serializer. So um, let's create a new constant here, call this one serializer, equal to a new XML serializer. That's a built-in JavaScript object. All right. So we have the actual instance of a XML serializer. We can uh, make a new constant and call this one um, the XML string equal to serializer dot serialize to string. So this is the the only method on the XML serializer. This takes in um, a node. So we can pass a document inside here. So document is actually a node. Um, so we can now console.log XML string and we can see the results. So we're passing in document here. This will be the entire um, document on the window right now. So if I was to log this out, we're going to see all this markup. So I can save this and refresh the browser. In the console, we get this right here. So we have the XML NS attribute on the HTML tag and it's actually added. Um, HTML and the head and the body automatically. So um, you might see that if you are um, serializing your entire document. Okay, so um, we can also serialize um, just a regular element. So, for example, if I was to make a new unordered list with an ID of my list inside the body and give it a few list items, for example, item number one all the way to three, okay? I can now um, actually grab this list, so make a new constant, call this one my list, equal to document.getElementById, we're gonna pass my list inside here. So we have this list um, inside the JavaScript, we can now pass this list into that serialized to string method. So now we're passing in this node, it's gonna be the unordered list. So I can now save this and refresh, and now, as you might guess, we get the actual unordered list as the output. So that is the XML serializer. Um, you can use this for maybe sending HTML um, from the client to a um, web server or you know just as a fetch or, um, or an Ajax request. That's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.